now I would like to invite Mr. Amit Agarwal, sir, Chairman, Indian Technical Textile Association and Chairman, CTM Technical Textile Limited, Ahmedabad, to share uh, his thoughts and to welcome Shri Vishal Goenka, sir, Chairman of 3B Fiberglass Company, Goa, as our esteemed Chief Guest. Uh, thank you, uh, C, um, CECA, uh, for inviting us. It's a pleasure being here. Uh, respected uh, dignitaries on the dais, friends from the industry. Uh, it's not a new industry for me because uh, we are also a user of uh, composite in a way. I am into geotechnical textile, uh, my company CTM. And uh, we use the composite material where we have the non ones on both the sides and we have a geonet inside being used in the reinforced earth also. I am myself a user of this industry. And uh, uh, being in technical textile as chairman ITTA, I have been interacting with so many of this industry, uh, not specific to, to composites, but the different range of industries. For example, agro textile, geo textile, defense textile, and you know the, the, the whole gamut of technical textile and each and every sector has composites in it. So we are into composite industry from a raw material perspective because any composite that you make will need raw material which could either be glass or could be carbon or could be polyester. Whatever you do, when we talk about the composite industry, the raw material will definitely has to be any of the textile materials per se majorly. So that is where the Indian technical textile pitch in come into the play of the composite industry and we uh, are the thrust of you know expanding and the whole industry is very gung-ho about expanding their capacities because we need to service the composite industry which is coming in a big way. So um, we are here for exciting times. The country is growing rapidly, the, the sector, different sector, the consumption will grow and so will the, be the industry. I think in the next two days the composite industry will, will deliberate, discuss uh, ways and means of how to grow the industry, what are the innovations needs to be done and uh, this is where we are. So coming from a deficit, a country which is having a deficit of a raw material which is glass, uh, we have a demand of about 320,000 tons of glass, yarns and fibers into this country and we have a production of 150,000 tons uh, here. So being an import centric country, may I invite Mr. Vishal Koenka who has you know, the guts to take on the 3B fiberglass company based out of Europe, which is the largest producer of uh, fiberglass in Europe, and he has now taken over of this company. So, an Indian multinational in front of you, Mr. Vishal Goenka, we have a big round of applause for him, and he has taken over Goa Glass. I am sure the glass industry or the computer industry knows Goa Glass in a big way, which was uh, taken over by 3B in 2014 and he has taken over this company. So, we are here for Make in India. Um, the, the, the government of India is, is very much excited about this investment. He is putting up 2,000 crores of investment into this new facility and adding up 150,000 tons of glass yarn to this country. He will be the, one of the biggest recipient of the, the productivity incentive scheme of the government of India. So, I am sure the industry will be very excited, very thankful to this investment to Mr. Goenka because you need the real guts to you know do this kind of investment. So the industry is looking forward to you to, to give this capacity into this country, make it India, and and you know and, and so the downstream industry will be very happy about it. So please welcome Mr. Goenka with a big hard round of applause for a few words from him and thank him for being here. Taking out time, I know he was in America yesterday, he flew all over, landed at 3 o'clock in the morning and he's in front of you. So take the post out of Thank you. Thank you, Sri Amit. You are very kind with your words. Uh, <coughs> at the onset, first of all, I would like to wish Sri Desai, Isro, and our nation the best for the success of Chandrayaan 3. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, I stand before you today as a chief guest, honored 
to address this esteemed gathering and share my thoughts on the remarkable development of the composites market in India. First and foremost, I would like to commend the organizers for bringing us together to celebrate the advancements and achievements in this industry. The composites market in India has experienced tremendous growth and it is a testament to the innovation, dedication and collaborative efforts to numerous individuals and organizations. Then we set up and introduce our potential. Composites being a combination of two or more distinct materials offer unique properties and advantages over traditional materials. They possess exceptional strength to weight ratio, corrosion resistance, durability, and design flexibility. These characteristics have propelled the adoption of composites across various sectors, including aerospace, automotive, construction, energy, and more. In recent years, India has witnessed a significant surge in the use of composites. This growth can be attributed to several factors. Firstly, advancement in, in manufacturing processes and technologies have made composites more accessible and cost effective. Uh, this coupled with the rising demand for lightweight and high performance material has fueled the expansion of the composites market. Additionally, government in initiatives such as Make in India and the focus on infrastructure development have created a conducive environment for the composites industry to thrive. The establishment of composite research and development centers, collaborations between academia and industry, and supportive policies have further bolstered the growth of this sector. Furthermore, Indian manufacturers and entrepreneurs have demonstrated their capabilities by successfully delivering innovative composite solutions. Whether it's the production of composite components by aircraft or the development of eco-friendly and energy-efficient composite buildings. Indian companies have made their mark on the global stage. However, there are still immense opportunities for further development and expansion of the composites market in India. Research and development efforts should continue to drive advancements in composite materials, processes and applications. Collaboration between industry, academia and research industries, research institutions should be encouraged to foster innovation and knowledge exchange. Uh, just on this note, we are setting up, uh, along with the Goa uh, government, a composite course in the University in Goa, which we have discussed in the last year. <laughs> Moreover, it is crucial to focus on skill development and training programs to ensure a skilled workforce capable of meeting the evolving needs of the composite industry. Investing in research, education, and training will be key to sustaining the growth and momentum and maintaining India's competitive edge in the dynamic field. Over here, just a small statistics. India's glass fiber industry production is 150 kg currently. Next year, with our capacity coming up, we'll be 300 kg. China is 6 million kg. 6 million tons. No way to go. Composites have to be the key element in the country. As we celebrate the achievements and prospects of the composites market, in India today, let us also recognize the responsibility we bear to promote sustainability and environmental consciousness. Embracing eco-friendly composite materials and manufacturing practices will contribute to a cleaner and more sustainable future. On that note, we are planning to have in blade to be recycled. That's a new project we're coming up with. In conclusion, the development of the composites market in India has been nothing short of impressive. Long way to go yet. It has showcased our nation's ability to embrace innovation, collaborative, and compete on a global scale. Let us continue to support and nurture this industry, pushing boundaries and unlocking its full potential. Um, just on this, we plan to bring uh, India's largest composite development center in Goa. We are dedicating this to the nation building, the most important. Development of composites is way behind. There are no institutions. You want to get some products development? Where do you go? We have just bought seven patents from a German company which was not using it. They had developed it for spring, making springs out of it for curved protrusions. So going forward, curved protrusions, aerospace, and various other technologies will be highly helpful. Um, 
it would be our honor to collaborate with this group for composite development, especially the new high modulus glass production which we will get into in 2024. On this note, thank you all for your kind attention and I wish a successful and fruitful year. Uh, now I would like to invite uh, Dr. Ritu Sahani for the next uh, guest. 